Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amelia here, and of course Amelia is near the end of her pregnancy, <laughs> January 24th. Um, she is going to deliver this baby, and so just naturally, and this happens to every pregnant woman, right? As you get closer and closer to the end of your pregnancy, all of the relaxing, the growth of the uterus and the baby. So the, the, the tissue around the pubic symphysis and the pubic symphysis itself starts to stretch, right? It has to, there's a, a it gets a little bit lax. The pelvis is preparing to do that intrinsic movement through the iliac and the sacrum that it needs to do to help the baby be guided through the birth canal, right? And then the, the opposite side of the pubic symphysis is our sacrum, yeah? And so the front and the back of the pelvis are trying to coordinate with each other and find some kind of stability. But the tissue around the SI joints and inside the SI joints at the sacrotuberous ligaments and those other many smaller ligaments connecting sacrum to ilium and tailbone to ilium are also getting lax, right? So um, Amelia sees a wonderful physical therapist in town, right, and body worker, Ruth Elliott from Asheville Holistic Physical Therapy. And she gave Amelia just a very simple, but really effective exercise for her to help to kind of keep her connected in this very tender time of her pregnancy. And we're gonna do it here today. So I'm gonna place my fist in her inner knees and I'm gonna press out and I'm gonna meet her pressure inward. And she can tell me if it's too much or if we're doing okay here mm -hmm. with the tension, good. And she wants to feel and then she can release, good. And then we'll do it again. And she'll feel like the right amount um, of pressure and time. And she wants to be equal on that left right side. And whenever she's ready, she can release. As she does this, I also want her to feel like she can keep space between her tail and her sitting bones, that she can also feel equal weight onto the left right of her sitting bones. Good. And then we can also do on that, the outer side too. So it's good to do both the inner and the outer, um, cueing all those adductors and our abductors. Good, and same here, she's keeping the sitting bones and the tail wide, equal weight on her sitting bones. And then giving her that subtle awareness that as she presses out on her legs, she still keeps the inner feet anchored. Good. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.